The last time I talked about Raft, I was being overly critical for it being an early access title. I played this game for about 20 hours before I wrote my quote unquote review for it. And honestly, back in 2020, it was a very eh title. The two games I compared it against the most were The Forest and Stranded Deep. Now, I never jumped back into this stupid beach one, but I did play The Forest with a friend. I, uh, I actually fully completed it. And my verdict on The Forest is that it is a steaming pile of crap that is uh, kind of funny honestly this is a survival game with survival elements that are completely pointless you can build a base but why would you since you are exploring dimly lit caves 80 percent of the time you can cook and collect water but again there is no point in doing that because the game keeps stuffing your face with granola bars and diet cokes to beat this game all you need to do is pick up the rebreather pick up a key card jump into the big hole in the middle of the map go towards the sahara labs fight a wacky boss and that's it 90 percent of the shit in the forest is pointless this whole game is a flawed mess but again it's kind of funny honestly if you're super bored i recommend jumping into this title with a friend there is some fun to be had here for sure now i personally thought that raft would follow in the same footsteps of the forest by making the same mistakes by fumbling over the exact same obstacles but you know what I'm happy that I've been proven wrong because Raft is actually pretty good. It's a competent, enjoyable title and I, I wasn't expecting that uh, for real. So Raft is a survival game about you being stuck on a raft and the main gimmick is you trying to expand it and make a cool base or well, at least try to, but please don't judge me, all right? You fish trash out of the ocean, collect resources from small islands and slowly but surely you get more gadgets and gizmos to play with. You start off with a simple grill, a simple purifier and a few crop plus but after a while you get to unlock smelters, collection nests, water tanks, fuel pipes, wind turbines, engines, backpacks, zip lines. Come on, how can you not love zip lines? These are awesome. It really is more of a base building game, well raft building I guess. It gives you a lot of freedom in how you want to tackle your base without having the mechanics be overly complicated. I guess the idea is you go from island to island and while you're traveling you're doing a bunch of building and farming and it works out well enough eventually you start to travel to bigger key locations where you can find new resources and blueprints which can be used to make new tools it's a simple fun gameplay loop unironically i really enjoyed the exploration and base building aspects of this game it's fun man I, unironically I, this is a good game but hold up what is this huh raft why is this in the game? If you go to the Raft Steam page and look at the popular tags, the first two that pop up are survival and open world survival craft. Why the hell is this a survival game? For real, it adds absolutely nothing to the experience. A lot of survival games usually have meters you have to maintain and most of the time they actually have some sort of purpose. It becomes a challenge trying to maintain them. The game that does this the best in my opinion is Don't Starve. This game goes balls to the wall with its status bars, especially Sanity. It even has character specific ones like a Mightiness meter if you play Wolfgang or an Inspiration meter if you play Wickford. In Raft you have a hunger, thirst and health meter. This one is, is whatever, it is understandable why it's here. These two on the other hand are nothing but a shitty annoyance that add nothing to the entire experience. You never ever run out of food. Later on you, you need food to make biofuel but still you always have an abundance of it and fresh water is the easiest thing to obtain. All you need to do is place down an advanced purifier and you're done. That's it, Th this thing isn't even expensive to make. Every single time one of these two meters reaches this point in the bar your vision gets all blurry and your movement speed gets reduced to a crawl. It is nothing but an annoyance. This stuff just isn't fun to maintain in the slightest. Remove it and this game will be a hundred times better. No joke. The other thing that really bugs me are a handful of the animations. I'm sorry but it just looks like complete ass. I don't think this is a bad looking game graphically but 
animation wise, it looks like something an early college student made. It, it just looks extremely stiff and, and buggy. What the hell is this? I am completely aware that Redbeat Interactive, the company that is developing Raft, is small. I'm talking eight people small, but I really hope they will fix these animations because it, it bugs the hell out of me. They did fix the shark though. It isn't a migraine giving machine anymore, which is a, a big plus. Also, the story, um, it exists. It's, it's all right. Honestly, I don't really care about it. So yeah. All right. Here is my verdict. Two years ago, I gave Raft a poo poo fart fart piss off. This time, however, I'm giving Raft a poo poo fart fart pretty fun. Yippee!